Previously on Big Brother, Jen was able to win the second round of the HOH against Brittany and will face off against Helen, where one of them will become the final and most important head of household. Who will make it to finale night? And who will be our season one winner? Find out now on Big Brother. Hi friends, welcome to my Sims 4 Big Brother Challenge. We made it to finale night. Oh my goodness. I am, I am feeling all sorts of things. I am. <laughs> uh, I am like sad. I am happy. I'm excited. Uh, I'm, I'm like everything right now. This has been so much fun and I can't believe it's now the final episode uh we are going we have a lot to get through today so i will not waste any of your time jen and helen are about to face off in foosball where one of them will win the head of household and be able to send someone home guaranteeing their spot in the finals where they will get a chance to plead their case to the jury and explain why they think that they should win Big Brother. So Jen and Helen, the rules are straightforward. You will play until we get a little notification up here telling us who won. So let's go. And let the final HOH round begin. Helen beat Jen 5 to 3. That was the longest freaking game. That was like six sim hours for a 5 to 3 win. I didn't know this was ever going to end, but congratulations, Helen. You have won your fifth and the final head of household. Now, in just a few moments, you are going to evict either Jen or Brittany. And let's go to the living room and see what your decision is. Helen, as the final HOH of the season, you must make the difficult choice of evicting one of these two nominees. Will it be Jen or Brittany? That's up to you. What have you decided? Helen would like to first off say congratulations to the three of you for making it this far in the game. 
you started off strong and there were moments where your alliance was tested and there was a little fracture, but you three were able to put your differences aside and work together to get rid of some pretty big threats in the game. This is such a difficult decision. Helen has thought about why she should keep either one of you beside her, but there is one person who has never ever been dishonest with Helen and who has always been loyal and had her back. So she's very sorry, but Brittany, she's choosing to evict you. <laughs> I forgot to unlock the door. Oh, when it's raining. Ah, oh, Brittany, you are unfortunately not going to win this game. However, I'm not even going to send you away. I'm in fact going to bring your fellow evicted house guests and jury members so that you can all decide who's going to win this game. Alrighty, we are here at the final vote ceremony. We have our two finalists, Helen and Jen, and in just a few moments, they will plead their case to the jury, who then will go cast their votes for who they want to see winning this game. And then we, I also brought back the four who didn't quite make it to the jury house. We got Zach, Will, Janelle and Vanessa. All right, Helen and Jen, now is the time for you to plead your case. We will start with Jen. So for Jen, she, her whole game was playing an honest, loyal game, which is rare in this house, but she proved that it could be successful and you don't have to make huge backstabbing moves to make it far in this game. She thinks that her best move was aligning herself with Helen because they had an unbreakable bond and Jen knew that nothing was ever going to get in between her alliance with Helen. She thinks that while Helen may have played the more strategic and physical game, Jen really played the social game, which is why they were the perfect competitor and which is why they are both here now. Jen did prove herself to be a competitor at the end and she really hopes that you as the jury will see that as a strength of hers. All right, thank you, Jen. Okay, Helen, now it's your turn. Helen knew that she wasn't going to have a target on her back immediately when this game started, so she used that to her advantage. She allowed herself to be kind of seen as invisible and someone to not really pay attention to and that allowed her to see where the big alliances were and where the cracks were that she could make even bigger between alliances one of her biggest moves was getting rid of jesse because jesse was proving himself to be not only physical but strategic as well and helen knew that if she didn't get jesse out he was going to be gunning after her she played an honest game. She didn't have to lie to her alliance member because her main alliance member was always Jen. And though Jen did play a good social game, Helen knows for a fact that she also dominated in that social aspect. And that's why she thinks that she should win the game. Thank you, Helen. Okay, jury and bystanders. It is now time to cast your vote for who you think should win this game. Think very carefully and we will start off with Paul. Paul respects that both of these ladies were able to make it to the finale and they acknowledge that it was not easy for them. However, there's just one person that they got along with more and who they think actually does deserve to win this game. So Paul, please cast your vote to win. Thank you, Paul. Dan is a little bit torn with his decision because Jen never wronged him in this game. 
on a personal level and Helen did. She was the HOH for when he went home, but he is impressed that Helen was able to win so many competitions. So he's having a, a difficult choice, but Dan, please cast your vote to win. Thank you, Dan. For Rachel, as a lover of this game, she does respect how hard Helen proved herself to be a physical threat in the game. However, Jen was always really kind to her and, and out of the pair of Jen and Helen, Rachel always felt that Jen had her back more. So Rachel, please cast your vote to win. Thank you, Rachel. For Rennie, there is one clear winner of this season. She dominated in competition, she dominated strategically, and she dominated socially. And though she was the HOH when Rennie got sent home, she knows that she wasn't the threat and because of circumstances out of both of their control, that's why she is on, on the jury. So Rennie, please cast your vote to win. Thank you, Rennie. Jesse knows who should be winning this game because he saw it when he was in the house and that's why he was trying to get rid of her for so many weeks. So Jesse, please cast your vote to win. Thank you, Jesse. Donnie is so proud of Jen and Helen for making it this far. And if he couldn't be there, he's happy to see both of them there. But still to him, there is one clear winner. So Donnie, please cast your vote to win. Thank you, Donnie. This is such a hard decision for Brittany. Both of these finalists are people who she considers her good friends and it's like choosing her favorite child. She's really struggling with it. But if she's looking at the game as a whole, there is in her mind a clear winner. So Brittany, please cast your vote to win. Thank you, Brittany. Okay, ladies, the votes have been cast and we do have a winner. I first off just want to say thank you, house guests, for an unbelievable and unforgettable adventure that we went on. This was a lot of fun. You all brought your own personalities and excitement and pranking and crying to an excessive cleaning. Uh, to this challenge and it has been a pleasure but let's get to the winner shall we all right ladies by a vote of four to three Helen you have won big brother And there you have it. Here is our winner. Congratulations, Helen. I'm not gonna lie. I thought I was like, Helen's clearly got this. Uh, it was not a sweep. She she got lucky near the end because uh, <laughs> Jen did really work on that social game. But here she is. This is our winner. I am so happy for her. She really earned it winning five HOHs in one season is so incredible. So, uh, Helen, you are a rock star and you have been such a pleasure and a, it's it's been a, such a pleasure to spend all this time with you and watch you evolve in this game. And that is it, friends. We have our winner of season one. I say season one because you know I'm gonna do another one of these. It was so much fun. It's a lot of work, but you know what? It's worth it. Um, I did realize I forgot to say in Wednesday's episode what my next challenges are going to be. I'm going to be doing two sim challenges at the same time. I am going to attempt and try my absolute darndest to finish it, the 100 baby challenge. We can do it because I feel like I'll feel bad if I stop the series, so I will just... I will have to stick with it. And the second one I'm doing is the Asylum Challenge, which I really, really enjoy, but I have my own special twist and characters in there. 
so you will have to stick around for that. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel so that you will be notified when those new challenges come up. And thank you, thank you so much for your endless support with this series. It, it was, it was the best. I had so much fun and I can't wait for the next one. So until next time, friends, bye. Take a baby. Take a baby. Take a baby.